It's a spectacle every year, the annual Ford fireworks on the Detroit River. And tonight is a huge crowd expected along the riverfront and Belle Isle all to enjoy the big show. And I know Mother Nature had her own show going. The weather hasn't been the best today, but the fireworks show is expected to go on. Fox News' Dave Spencer joining us live with more from Hart Plaza. And usually around this time, people start showing up to get their spot, Dave. Usually they're already there and in their spot. In fact, I spoke to a few people just moments ago who say they normally get here around 1. They showed up at 5, and they're one of the first people here. And this is what you'll have to contend with as you come here. It's no lines, right? That's great. So you're going to walk through these new things called Evolves. It's different than a metal detector. They're more centered on locating large quantities of metal, so they're not stopping each and every person as they walk through. If you do bring a bag, a cooler, though, you should know that you will be searched. They're going to have these Evolve stations here here at Hart Plaza where I am and across the street at Spirit Plaza. That's another vantage point, we're told, that has some of the best views for the fireworks show that's going to get on tonight starting at 10.06 sharp. We're told this is going to be the biggest one they've ever had, the parade company. I spoke with the spokesperson just a moment ago. They said it's going to be 24 minutes and it's going to be basically an entire um, uh, climax of the, 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 the peak of the fireworks show for the entire 24 minutes, something you definitely want to see in person. Uh, as I mentioned, there are people that are here sporadically. They've set up the, their own little version of Tent City. I had a chance to sp speak with one family who says this is a tradi tradition that they simply wouldn't miss out on no matter what the weather. It's something that we do every year. We've been doing it since 2007. Our spot is generally up under that tree, but we always miss the first boat, so we decided to move over this year. I went to Walmart today and got, actually I had everything but one tarp. So I'd had everything since since 2007. I just needed one more tarp and a poncho for the babies. A poncho for the baby. That baby's less than one year old. First uh, fireworks show for that child. Maybe making memories uh, that'll last forever. And I'm sure a lot of families are doing just that. I normally spend some time over on Belle Isle where the crowds are, are gathering usually during all day doing cookouts and stuff like that. This is a, a much more atmosphere that we're expecting to be a late arriving crowd. But there are food trucks over there. So if you do come hungry, they've got you. Uh, there's no line right now as the rain is starting again. But we will be out here all night, rain or shine along with the fireworks show that I'm assured will go on no matter what the weather. Reporting live from Hart Plaza, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. And it's already been a, a long and hot, seemingly summer already with crime all over, of course, Metro Detroit, and people are concerned about safety, and that's why these metal detectors should help people feel a little bit safer, knowing that when they come in, they're there to do a great thing, have a good time with neighbors and friends, and, and, and hopefully see a great show. Oh, yeah. Security and police are outnumbering the patrons uh, two to one, I'd say, at this point. There's also the eye in the sky up there that's uh, it's manned and is watching the entire viewing area, making sure everyone keeps safe. There's a curfew that's in place tonight. I should mention that. That runs from 8, 8 p.m. until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. So if you're a minor, you cannot be unaccompanied uh, without adult supervision from 8 p.m. till 6 a.m. if you are downtown tonight. All right. Hoping for peace on the ground with chaotic beauty in the sky with the fireworks, as you usual. Dave Spencer for us live. Thank you. Well, massive crowds are also expected on Belle Isle for the Ford fireworks, and that's where we find Fox News Dave Kinchin. And Dave, I imagine that uh, the weather playing a role there. Not many people as usual. You know, usually they're firing up their grills all day. Yeah, yeah, you know, there's a little bit of everything going on right now, um, especially now that the rain stopped here. We'll show you, you can see the skyline, just how nice it is right now. Now that all that rain is gone, the kids are having a blast. You guys having fun here? Who's uh, who's winning this contest here? Uh, what's going on? How you doing? You having a good time? Yes, I am. How excited are you for the fireworks tonight? I'm very excited. Very, very. very excited. I need so much fun. All right, you guys having a good time? Where are you guys from? Detroit. 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 That's right. Rocking and rolling here on Belle Isle. Uh, let's go over this way here. We'll go around there and uh, we'll show you some of the people cooking out here. You know, you got to have a good cookout in the summertime. It's all happening right now. And uh, you can see all of that taking place right here. The tents are up. Everything's cool. Uh, we'll go to some video right now. We'll go to some video and you can see everything uh, happening in terms of everybody getting ready, coming down to Belle Isle. People were getting here very, very early, of course, as early as they could to get a parking spot and um, get settled in, have a good time out here, ready for the 
board, fireworks, uh, show and everything. And, um, you know, it's one of those things, too, where uh, you bring the bicycles out, you bring the uh, the campers, you bring whatever you can, because uh, it's kind of like a, a camping experience. It really is. Um, uh, let's come back live. You can even see some of the uh, police here, police officials out there keeping everybody safe. But look at this girl right here. Look at how good this looks, man. And uh, throw some dogs on there, some burgers. Oh, that's the only way to party here on Belle Isle for a celebration of the holiday. Back to you. All right, guys. All right. Just what? getting a cup of coffee. Yes. Yeah. Checking a message. <laughs> yes. And, but we want to know. This is the big question. Will the yeah. weather finally clear out for tonight's big show? That is the big question because uh, the show should be going on. The man-made fireworks, not Mother Nature's show. Rich Luterman has a look at our forecast. Rich? Uh, Rook Taran, the show is about five hours from now, close to 10 o'clock. And certainly showers are on radar. Even a few rumbles out there. Now, once we get beyond 7 o'clock, the uh, coverage of these showers will decrease. So, again, we're not expecting an all-night soaker, but the showers are certainly out there right now. We'll zoom in for you right over Wayne County. You can see some very light showers through Detroit right now, some heavier downpours moving through Southfield, also a few more out around Hamburg. But it is a little cooler out there today with clouds. The mugginess remains 70, deg 70 degrees for us, 68 in Grand Rapids, 74 to our south in Toledo. How about live pictures from Mount Clemens? You can see the showers there in uh, southern Macomb County. Old Glory is flapping around so occasional showers they'll start to gradually wind down later on this evening they are going to have fireworks tonight and then you'll see what's coming up next more showers likely tomorrow dry and mild for wednesday and then perhaps more thunder shower chances late week group and tearing a full check coming up in 10. all right thanks rich well you know the strong storms though that blew through yesterday caused a lot of damage toppling trees and taking down power lines and just days from the rocket mortgage classic the detroit golf club was not spared neither was the man's first car. Fox News' Veronica Meadows with the damage report. Cleanup across Metro Detroit is now underway after those strong storms tore through parts of Southeast Michigan on Monday. Cleanups also going on here at the Detroit Golf Club, close to where we're standing. Ponchar Train Boulevard behind us is mostly closed on Monday morning, except for staff members and folks who are helping to clear fallen trees. A view from above the Detroit Golf Club Monday morning shows the damage a powerful storm left behind. Strong winds uprooted several trees and scattered branches. On the ground, you can see a large tree flattened a car caught underneath. I got off work and I went to go home and uh, I saw my car and it was, there's a tree on top of it. Oh boy, <laughs> what am I gonna do? Now the driver, Yuri Doziak, tries to stay positive. My first car, I just got it, so or I got it last year, but first car drama, it always happens. Meanwhile, traffic lights that are out serve as a reminder of the tens of thousands of DTE customers who don't have power. Over in Redford, mom Jessica Harris recalls the moment a tree toppled onto her family's home and went through their ceiling. Harris says her young daughter was close by. I ran back in the house and my daughter actually, where the tree fell down, it actually fell down on the side of our house where our bedrooms are. So I knew my daughter was in her room and I ran to the back and I screamed her name and she ran to me and it was just like so loud to where it shook my whole house. While Harris says her family's shaken up, she's grateful everyone is okay. I know I live in, a, in an area where it's like a lot of trees and things like that, but it was scary and I never ever imagined that to happen, but I'm just happy that we're safe um, and we'll get through it. The Rocket Mortgage Classic also set to start later this week. Right now we are told that tournament is expected to start on time. I'm Veronica Meadows. We'll send it back to you. And we have some breaking news right now out of Warren. The police officer charged with assault has been fired from the department. Matthew Rodriguez was arraigned last week on assault and battery charges after punching a jail inmate in the face and then slamming him to the ground. Rodriguez was a 14-year veteran of the department. Police Commissioner Bill Dwyer tells Fox 2 the termination is effective immediately. Well, we are learning more about the DT contractor who was killed on the job this weekend. Austin Chappelle was working near Ford and Outer Drive in Detroit Saturday afternoon. He was killed instantly after coming in contact with a live wire. Chappelle was under contract with the company State Line. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help cover funeral costs. If you'd like to donate, we have a link to that GoFundMe on our website, fox2detroit.com. With July 4th right around the corner, your neighborhood may get a little louder. Consumer-grade fireworks are legal starting on Thursday. Fox 2's Jessica Dupnett gives us some do's and don'ts. 
It's safe, it's fun. Just know what you're doing. It all starts with making sure the fireworks you choose match your skill level. If we see that they're inexperienced or a little bit raw, we are right there to show them, hey, this is what you're looking for. We show them on the television exactly what the effect is. If you come into one of the pro fireworks locations, you'll get a safety handout. Even if you are a pro, still worth a check. We've had an outstanding record of safety since fireworks have been legal and all we want to do is just make it a little bit safer. Owner Reed Miller suggests having guests stay at least 100 feet away from the display. Close quarters or a tight neighborhood, choose a display with fireworks that go straight up, not out. He says prepping for the in case is key. Either a garden hose or a bucket of water handy in case there is a problem where a little bit of grass catches fire or whatever, just have that handy. If you think the big boomers carry the most risk, think again. The most dangerous thing I sell are sparklers. We urge all parents to be careful with their children with their sparklers. Know where they are when they're done with that dead sparkler, not in the grass where somebody's going to step on it. Make sure the kiddos hand the fizzled out sparklers back to an adult before they get another. If you're not sure of what you're doing, this product is safe. If you're safe with it, ask somebody. It's okay to ask. Okay, so you're all safe, ready to go. When can you start? Well, in Michigan here, it starts June 20th. 29th to light off those fireworks and you can go right up until 4th of July 11:45 p.m. on the 4th. Jessica Dupnack, Fox 2 News.